have to check your uh, programming and make sure you don't have this thermometer set for the inside cabin temperature. I believe yeah. it'd be 39 degrees in here. Well, this is our first winter storm of the season, and it you is can't even down. see the road signs. I know. Well, how many more days till spring? Oh my gosh, it's still, believe it or not, it's still late fall. It's not even winter yet. No. Technically, first day of winter is not till December 21st. What is that? Get it. Get it, Bailey. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Look, she's trying to eat it. Get it. Get it, Bailey. What is that? Get it, get it, Bailey, get it. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Old babe? Not really. I think it's cold. Because your coat's not zipped up and you don't have a hat on. <laughs> What's she doing? What are you doing, Bailey? Get it. Get it. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Get it. Saw quite a few problems. Several cars sliding off the ramp from 141 to I-64 today. One of the drivers said he hit the brakes when other cars slowed down, and that's when he lost control. Winter storm Finley is sweeping across the country, causing havoc on the roads. In Kansas City, traffic was backed up for miles in 1971. Multiple roads were closed across Kansas and Missouri because of road conditions, slide offs, and wrecks. With temperatures in the upper 20s to near 30, there's a lot of precipitation that's going to ride on up into the St. Louis area. Could see a little more freezing rain south of St. Louis. That's what the pink is, a little mix of snow and freezing rain, which could make conditions down to the south and southeast a little icier. So it is currently 10.04 a.m. and Tony had to go into work today as you guys know he is a nurse so he is required to go into work no matter how bad the weather is no matter how bad the road conditions are so the weather report has gotten worse and I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it home tonight so We will see. It's hard for me to sit at home and know that he may be stuck at work or if he's going to have enough food. I had to go to Buck Height and get some salt, not ice, as I said when I was talking to Bailey, for our driveway because it is so slick, I don't know if he'll be able to pull into the garage. I tried shoveling in the driveway, but it's coming down too fast. I put some salt down, so hopefully that helps for my baby to get in the driveway. So I shoveled the driveway. I 
put some salt down and we'll see if that helps. But as you can see, the snow is falling faster than they thought it would. So I will keep you updated on when he gets to come home or if he's stuck in traffic. But right now, I do know that their first patients were not on the <coughs> were not in the ORs until 10 a.m. So they're running probably about four hours behind schedule. Sorry for Bailey squeaking her new pig toy that I got her. So I'm really worried. Please pray for us. It's been a hard winter. She's got to go potty in the snow. Bailey, come here. Come here. Bailey. Come here. So we got home, but I didn't get the video because it was a long commute and it was very nerve wracking and he got stuck several times, but he's home and he's playing with Bailey. Come here, Bailey. How was your commute home, baby? Only oh, took me two hours. <laughs> and now I get to have a little fun with Bailey in the snow. Did you miss me? I did. You're so cute. <laughs> what are you doing, Bailey? It's gonna take a while for this amount. Yeah. We may have a white Christmas. So he's home and we braved the winter storm. We survived. Yeah. Now we're getting to have fun. Yeah. So fun we'll be back. Snow.